Since Minecraft can't do it, let me show you how to fix the game. What you're going to want to do is just leave your Minecraft minimized and don't actually close it. Then you're going to want to type in run, press open, app data, percentage. I'm going to put this in the description as well, just copy paste it, press OK. And then you should see a file called Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Go to users, go to the top one obviously, games, Honda Mojang, and then click on the file called Minecraft PE options. This is how you can edit your stuff again. Okay, now at the top, you should be able to see VSync around... Yeah, this is VSync right here. VSync pretty much just makes the game unplayable, so you're going to want to change this to zero. Now, this is how you're going to get auto sprint. Then you're going to want to scroll all the way down until you get to keyboard settings. Then you're going to want to change sprint, obviously, to 87, and make sure your walk is also 87. Do this for both, and then you should be fine. Don't forget to scroll down a little bit further and also change this to 87 and leave your forward also to 87. Go to file, press save. Then you're going to want to restart your Minecraft just by closing it and then open it back up. Part three, how to get rid of the stupid bugs they added. Oh, if you also want to get rid of that stupid thing they added with um, pretty much being able to see through mobs and like certain objects, turn these off, enable dithering for, for blocks and also disable enable dithering for mobs. Pretty much you'll be able to see through the mods if you turn these on. You guys like really pixelated and it also cause your FPS to drop, so I'm gonna wanna turn that off. So let's go back on Hive, so I can show you guys what I did to fix it pretty much. Um, uh, well now I have auto sprint, and just to show proof of that, let me go here. Settings. No cuts by the way. Right here, scroll down. Your sprint is W. Your walk forward is also W. And you also don't have VSync on anymore, so your game is a lot more responsive. So hopefully this should allow a lot of people to come back to the community. This game is really, it's still laggy, I'm not going to lie. It's like mad laggy, but at least the input delay is a lot less. The memory leak thing has been a really bad problem, but so far it's not been affecting me too bad. Since Minecraft couldn't show you this, I showed you it.